I had a dream the other night about how we only get one life. Woke me up right after two, stayed awake instead of you, so I wouldn't lose my mind. Yeah, I think my style definitely has changed, you know, particularly, um, I think that I've always just been a kind of jeans and t-shirts guy, do you know what I mean? But I think that when you are on stage and stuff like that, you do maybe have to make a bit more effort to, to try and, you know, to try and glam up a bit. I don't think it's taken me too far away from, from anything that I would normally wear, but it's just kind of opened my eyes to a few different options and stuff. So I don't feel like I've been through this massive makeover that's changed me, but I've, I, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with what the style team have done. I think my confidence for a start, you know, having having tried to sort of break into the industry for a long, long time and played gigs and sometimes to just one or two people, you know, it kind of knocks your confidence a bit. And I think that having the faith that particularly Simon's put in me and some of the feedback and the comments and stuff has just has really, really given me that confidence back again to think, you know, that maybe, you know, maybe I can go on to do this really, really well. Call it a temporary crush. With broken words I tried to say. I mean, he runs a record label, you know, and a really, really, like, really, really prestigious, and, and they're doing great, like, as a label, you know, and he's got some amazing artists on there, and I think that with all his years of experience, it's, he can obviously just, just pick it out, you know, I don't know what it is, and if anyone else knew what it is, obviously there'd be loads of people like Simon out there, but there's only one, and he's, he's doing amazingly, so whatever it is that he's, that he's got, you know, I, I, no one will know. I know that. 